Towers Falling by Jewel Parker Rhodes, Chapter 8, Small Groups, pages 48 through 52. Everyone's excited. Miss Garcia claps her hands and calls, Small Groups! Me, Ben, and Sabine are a group. I used to think Sabine was unpopular, and that's why she hung out with Ben and me. But it isn't true. Everybody likes her. Hi, Sabine, second graders shout. Fourth graders admire her scarves. Sabine wears a different color every day of the week. Today is Wednesday, blue scarf day. The silk covers her hair, wrapping around her neck and flapping in the back like a shawl. I don't know why Sabine likes to be with Ben and me. We're the new kids, outsiders. George Manny, Anastasia, Stasia everyone calls her. Even pretty angels say, Sabine, me, 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 sit beside me. Sabine just smiles sweetly, flipping the tail of her scarf and walks to Ben and me. Share your art, your essays about home, says Miss Garcia. What does home mean? How do you show home, feel about home? Discuss among yourselves and we'll share ideas with the entire room. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Everybody's talking excitedly. Me, Ben, and Sabine look at each other. I can tell Ben, like me, doesn't want to go first. Well, says Sabine, my home is great. She unfurls yellow construction paper. I'm amazed. In bright red, she's drawn a three-story house with deep steps, a chimney, and white curtains on the windows. She sprinkled gold glitter uh, as earth and added purple and white flowers. There's even an orange cat walking by. The basement, you can't see it. That's where Beban, my grandmother, lives. It, it's like a baby apartment. First and second floor, my parents, my brother and I. My, my brother and I live. Up top, beneath the roof, is another bedroom. That's where Uncle Ahmet and my, my father's brother lives. You live with all those people? I think I could live with all those people too if I lived in a mansion like Sabine. Family, Sabine exhales, ex exhales. Home is divine, blessed by Allah. Who's Allah? God in Arabic. Want me to read my essay? No, says Ben, and I'm surprised. He's being rude, though I was going to say no too. Sabine pouts, her lips push out, then suck back in. She really wants to read her essay, but unlike me, Sabine doesn't hold grudges. She doesn't have an off switch for happy. Show us your home, she says, polite to Ben. Ben lifts a sketchbook. It's professional with huge spiral rings. The cover has a picture of a huge hand drawing inside with black ink and charcoal. He's drawn a ranch with open and fenced spaces with horses, goats, and chickens. The ranch house has a long extended porch. Up in the right-hand corner is a barn. That isn't here. That isn't here, I say. New York doesn't have s such stuff. We don't have the space. It's where I wish I was. It's where my dad is. Where do you live now? An apartment with my mom. Ben closes his pad. I'm not going to read my, es my essay. He looks at me as if to say, your turn. I lift a box from under my chair. My house is pathetic. The clay dried and cracked. It's a crumbly gray square, ugly, small like the a Avalon room. I lift the cutout and the paper people unravel, one, two, three, four, five. They all have Lita's O's for mouths. I didn't write an essay. Sabine looks shocked, sad. You're such a good student, I say. You never do anything wrong, do you? You've got the big house, everybody's happy, your family is divine. My voice is sarcastic, mean. S Sabine's supposed to holler back, but she's looking at me misty-eyed like Ray and Lita do when I snap at them. I push off from the table and stand, my chair topples. The whole class quiets. I hate this school. Miss Garcia hears me. Deja, go to the principal's office and wait for me there. I turn, head up, strutting. I act like I've been sent to the principal's office before, a million times. I slam, I slam the classroom door. I tremble. My whole body sags. I hope they don't call pop.